or that ye are gods. Quote, quote in Psalm, I believe it's Psalms 89, verse 6. I said ye are gods, but you shall die like men. And all of you are children of the Most High. See that? So there was no damn virgin birth. All right? And here it is. The Pharisees knew of the coming of the Messiah. And they knew that he comes from the Most High. Not saying that he is the Most High. He comes from the Most High. The Most High sent him. His covenant was in the image of his persons through his son Christ when he walked the earth. And when he was crucified, he resurrected and went up in the heavens to sit on the right hand of the Father to fulfill prophecy of remaining there until the Lord makes Christ's enemies his footstool. That's the bottom line to this all. Read on. For no man can do these miracles and that doeth except God be with him. Right, see that? Because you had other men in times past that did miracles and they did certain things like the prophet Elijah, Moses. All of them were able to do those things because the Heavenly Father was with them. Christ was able to do these things because the Heavenly Father was with him. Any man of the nation of Israel does these things. Why? Because the Heavenly Father was and is with him. That's the bottom line to it all. Give me Luke chapter 24 verse 15. Okay. Luke 24 15. Read on. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, the Alsha himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were open that they should not know. Right, because after Christ died and resurrected, there was rumors and reports that after Christ's death that there was a man named Jesus walking around in the city. People were making reports of how they saw Christ even after his death walking around. So they was communing with each other about this matter and Christ ended up being amongst them as the disciples were communing, or at least these two were, if I'm not mistaken, it was two of them, not all of them, communing together, Christ ended up being amongst them. But their eyes were holding that they could not perceive that it was him. Read on. Verse 17, and he said unto them, What matter of communications are these that ye are one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them whose name was Cleopas, and so Israel said unto him, Are thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? Verse 19. And he said unto them, What thing? So they don't even understand that they're talking to Christ. But it wasn't their time to be for him to be revealed in their in their mind that it was Jesus. They're thinking that Christ died and he's dead. But here it is, Christ already told them that I'm going to be resurrected. He told his disciples that. And here it is, he's talking right amongst them. And they don't even perceive that it's him. That's how strange it was, because it was it was not time for them for their eyes to be open. See, for a lot of you guys that don't believe in Christ, your eyes have been sealed shut by the Father. That's the issue. And no matter how many scriptures we bring out, you're not going to see it. Why? Because your eyes have been shut by the Father. The Father don't want you to see it because you're not worthy to see it. At these times, these men communing amongst themselves concerning what happened with Christ, all sad because Christ died. And here it is, he didn't resurrect it like he didn't told them. He's speaking amongst them, but they couldn't see or notice it was Christ. Why? Because it wasn't time for them to see him or notice and their lack of faith caused them not to see or notice that it was Christ himself speaking to him even after he got whipped butchered down there and was crucified they could not even recognize him read and they said unto him concerning thou shalt nazareth which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before god and all the people so everybody knew that jesus was not the heavenly father the ones that believed in him knew that he was a prophet mighty indeed and he was a man sent from the most high not that he was the most high but he was sent from the most high read verse 20 and how the chief priests 
and our rulers deliver him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Right, the chief priests and rulers, meaning the Pharisees, the Sadducees, okay, and the elders of Jerusalem, they're the ones that sold Christ out to the Romans to have him to be crucified, right? So Cle Cleopas is explaining it to the stranger, not with the spiritual understanding to realize or to recognize that this is Christ he's talking to. All right, drop down to verse 25. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all the prophets have spoken. So basically Christ had enough listening to this man's clear up his mouth. He said, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. See, Christ had a temper. He called men fools. He called men names. He called men names. He got upset at men. Cursed men out, basically. Called a bunch of fools and said, Oh, slow heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Read. Are not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? In the beginning, have Moses and all the prophets be expounded unto them and all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Now, check that out. Christ went to school on these individuals and he went back into the Torah and the Old Testament and broke down all the scriptures. In the, in the Torah and in the prophets that were speaking of Christ himself. But to show you, Christ was in and is in the Old Testament. Moses spoke of Christ. We read about Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter. We read about Genesis 49. Okay? Um, um, Deuteronomy, 33rd chapter. Various other scriptures, Moses spoke of Christ. Alright? Moses knew of Christ. And prophesied about Christ's return and death and resurrection. Isaiah, the prophets, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Zechariah. Christ basically just laid it all down and all these men spoke of me. Yes, in the Old Testament. Check that out. Where is the virgin birth? Where is the book of Enoch? Why was it the book of Enoch mentioned? Okay, why was it not mentioned? The book of Jubilees, why wasn't it not mentioned? Okay, because some simple individual will go to Jude verse 9 and say the book of Enoch was mentioned there with the prophecies of Enoch saying the Lord, Lord. But where's the book of Jubilees? Okay, go to um, Luke chapter 20 verse 26. Luke 20. 26. Read on. And they could not take all of his word before the people. And they marveled at his answer for hell and peace. And they came to him, certain of the Sadducees, which denied that there is a resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die, having a wife, and he died without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Verse 29. There. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife, and he died without children, and the second took the wife, her to wife, and he died childless, and the third took her, and in like matter, matter, the seven also, and they left no children, and died. Last of all, the woman by the like it. Um, that's not what I wanted. Um, I wanted Luke chapter 24, verse 26, Salah. Because I was listening to you. I'm like, what the hell is his brother going into? But, oh, that's my mistake. Luke chapter 24, verse 26. Or not Christ to have suffered these things to enter into his glory and beginning at Moses and all the prophets he expounded them all the scriptures and things concerning himself. And they drew not with his pillars when they went. And he made as though, as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him. Saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at me, that he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew it. So at me, their eyes were open, and they realized who this person was, right? And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. He just disappeared, right? They said one to another, they're not high. My heart burned within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scripture. So here it is, you've got this stranger breaking down the scriptures concerning Christ.
They don't even know who this man is, and they're learning from this man. They even invited this man to break.